Hey, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the equator of luminous 4K screen paint using ambulight rejection, technology gain times two and three. I'm doing this demonstration just to show you, even if you have a projector of 4,000 lumens and 1080p, keep in mind my projector is WUXGAL. No, 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 I'm sorry, sorry. It's my bad. It's WUXGA. Uh, it's a form of widescreen projector, but the res on it is 1920 by 1200, so it's a little higher than 1080p, but like I said, it's still a 1080p projector. Now, I taped about three sheets of paper onto the screen just to show you exactly how much of your picture quality that you are losing. Keep in mind, our screen paints are designed to be ambient light rejection. Keep in mind, you don't have to be in the dark if you don't want to. Now, as I said, as I said in other demonstrations I've seen, on YouTube, I've seen demonstrations where screens were shrouded in darkness, lights were pretty much in the back of the, uh, of the screen. There's not any real lighting around the screen. It just shows you exactly how much light the screens can take in. But not only that, if you're using a white wall or white projection screen and you think you're getting the very best from your home theater setup, you're not. You're cheating your projectors. No point in going out and doing all the research to get a very good projector. Just cheat it. Now, I paid a, good, a good, pretty good penny for this projector behind me. Uh, I got it on sale for around $661. Um, when I, after the sale, I went to around $800. And I went to a lot of research to get this particular projector because it had that widescreen. And also, too, it had that, um, it had the 4,000 lumens, which I wanted. So even with 4,000 lumens and my projector sits back 14 feet and 8 inches, if my screen was white or a form of light gray, and keep in mind the high grade silver we developed, we've done demonstrations on that on 1,500 lumens, we're the only ones who have a screen paint that has that ambient light technology. Now, to back up that theory, I'll put that post at the bottom, a link at the bottom, you can check it out for yourself. And that was being done on a projector that cost me, I think, $50.00. Projector was around uh, 1,500 lumens, had around probably about 10 feet back. No, I'm sorry, 8 feet back from the screen, 8 or 10, 8 or 9 feet from the screen. But this is just to show you what you are getting if you're using a white projection screen. It doesn't make a difference if your projector is 1080p. It doesn't make a difference if your projector is 4,000 lumens. This is what you're going to get. I will come over here and pop my window open for a minute. Blinds are fully open. You can see objects on the opposite side, and you can see exactly what you are getting from your screen. And I see a lot of people there with light gray screens and those screens wash out so fast. It's not even funny. That's why you see a lot of these demonstrations being done in dark environments and they pretty much have light peppered out into the next room. Light, put it this way, light in this room has nothing to do with the physical light in this room. So I don't know why they point the camera into the next room saying, look, there's light here and basically the screen looks fantastic here. It has nothing to do with it. And I've seen demonstrations where the blinds will be open here but they'll be shut anywhere near the screen. And that's because the screen will wash out if any light hits it. Now keep in mind the same condensed lighting you see hitting the fireplace is the same amount of condensed lighting that hits my screen at all times. And on top of that, I have LED lights over top of my screen. That just shows you how much they take in. And you can see the difference between the white paper and our technology. So I'm gonna walk over here, show you the angle gain. See where the projector sits back? Even at 4,000 lumens at 1080p, you will not get the most from your projector. You're pretty much cheating your projector. Probably getting like 20, or maybe if you're lucky, 50% of it. All right, so let's go downstairs. Got another demonstration set up for you. Now, downstairs I have a 37 lumen. Uh, it's my tall, my, uh, I have a, uh, bless, when I got this place, that I have a bathroom downstairs because the last place didn't come with a bathroom. All right, so the projector I'm using over here is a NEC XGA projector at 720p, 3700 lumens. It's sitting 12 feet back from the screen. Price for this one was $90. That's what I paid for this projector. Now the screen paint we're using is the Gamer screen paint. Keep in mind, like I said, it's a dark screen paint and this is actually coated on styrofoam. Just showing that you can coat this on anything you want. I've gotten messages from people asking me, hey, if I coat this onto a white motorized projection screen, if I coat this on a fixed screen screen, if I paint this on my wall, you can paint on anything you want. I've done demonstrations of me painting multiple, multiple surfaces and just slamming them against the projector and saying, look, bam, 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 done. Now, some people think if I go higher up on the lumens, I'll be able to get a better picture quality from the screen. No, you won't. Even with the lights out, you're not going to get it. Watch this. Here we are with the lights out. 
This is what you're getting from your projector. Keep in mind, I spent a lot of time, when I went upstairs, I spent some time researching it to make sure I got the right projector for my home theater setup upstairs. So keep in mind, you go out and get do all the research to get the best projector you can get. And some people think, okay, because I have high contrast on the projector, that's gonna make up for the white wall. It's not, it's just not. Now I took the lampshade off over here. So actually I can have more light hitting the screen. There's my lampshade right here. And I took it off so I can have more light in contact with the screen just to show you exactly how powerful our ambient light projection technology is. Now on the floor over here, I have ViewSonic Short Throw. It's around 3200 lumens. Uh, the projector is a 720p WXGA. Because even if you have short throw, even if you have ultra short throw, you are still going to be cheating your projector. And somebody referred to one of my videos I was doing on the knockoff projectors. They were saying, well, you know, even if you have the screen paint, it's not going to make the knockoff projector look any better. The demonstration wasn't about making the knockoff projector look any better. It was to show you that you need to stay away from these particular projectors because these projectors have fake specifications and will not give you what you think you are getting. Could make that thing look like this if I had a Harry Potter wand. All right, so just showing you on the long throw, same video upstairs, down here. Lights out. Cause we can do pitch black down here. Just to show you what you're getting. Lights on. All right, so now I'm gonna turn this one off. And I have this projector right here in blank mode. That's what you're hearing in the background, the music from this projector is in blank mode. Let's see, right over there in blank mode. We're going to turn the short throw on. So this is a short throw projector. Same video. Sitting right near the screen, probably about a good maybe, about a good maybe about four feet from the screen, four to three feet from the screen. Take our lights out. Show you what you're missing. Even if you have a short throw projector, you're still missing the picture. So it doesn't have to be high powered. This one's only at 30, 3,200 lumens. And this is what makes our screen paint stand out from anything on the market. That ambient light rejection technology is flawless. Look at this. Color doesn't wash out, color doesn't fade. This is what it means by our technology, we use 720p, well, majority of the videos I do, I do 720p projectors. Because if I can make a 720p projector look outstanding, imagine what 1080p and 4K would look like on our screen paint. And it just shows our customers that you don't have to spend a lot of money when it comes to your projector. And some people may turn their noses up at 720p and say, hey look, it's not a really good projector, you should stay away from it. Well, they don't have our technology. It's the reason why our technology looks like this on a 720p projector. Now, just to add really quick, um, the Gamer Paint is available on our website. It does come with free worldwide shipping. It does come with a blackout cloth that is 10 feet by seven feet. That's a big blackout cloth. It also comes with LED lights for your screen. We have available in one quart and two quarts. Also two, uh, the sale, the Christmas sale, we're gonna make that permanent. So that price is gonna be permanent. 
on our website. And that's for the Eclipse screen paint, the black screen paint, the uh, silver Eclipse, and for our Ultra Sure Throw High Grade Professional Silver. Now, just in case if my tie runs out here, I am Kenneth Bird from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection Technology Game Times 2 and 3. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Uh, next demonstration today, I will come in soon. Uh, today will be that knockoff projector. It's supposed to be 4,000 lumens, and it's supposed to be 4,000 lumens 1080p. That's what it's supposed to be. All right, again, thank you all for your time, and God bless.